Hello, this is Natasha Von Imhoff, Senate District L, and this is video number three in the five-part video newsletter series. If you want to see my previous videos, you can check out my Facebook page. So today's video, uh, we are talking about the differing philosophical viewpoints about spending and why the legislature is having a tough time coming to an agreement. So the permanent fund dividend continues to drive the budget talks because only after we pay a dividend do we generate a budget deficit, as you can see in the budget slide. The dividend competes with all other agency spending, and sometimes I refer to it as the 18th agency. So the issues continue to be, should the dividend be given the same level of consideration as all other agency departments? And should math or politics drive the budget solutions when it comes to the dividend? So like I've said before, we don't have a fiscal crisis, we have a priority crisis. So this is a question that I ask people to consider. If we create new revenue or find new sources of cash, how should we spend it? So revenue or sources of cash could come from different sources. Uh, you could have new revenue like income or sales tax or change in oil taxes. There could be an increase in the price of oil, which is what we're seeing now. We could cut expenses enough to free up new cash, or we could take money from the permanent fund earnings reserve account, our nest egg. Then, if we get new cash, how should we spend it? Should we pay out a dividend with all the new cash, or pay down debt, invest in more capital projects, address the backlog of deferred maintenance, invest in expanding broadband, focus on housing or other grant uh, payments, put some into savings. The question remains, how much should the dividend dictate how we balance our budget? And that's what we're grappling with. Meaning, how much of essential services should we cut? Or how much should we drain our savings account or the permanent fund, our nest egg? Or how much should we tax hardworking Alaskans in order to pay a dividend. These are the philosophical differences and questions we're facing at the Capitol. If you know how you'd like the legislature to solve these issues, please reach out to your representative and to your senator. So my next video will focus on how will these different choices affect the permanent fund, our nest aid. Thank you.